Well, what once started as a way to identify one's belongings has evolved into a branding tool of sorts. But how do you know the proper way of using the monogram? Here with tips is Live at Five's etiquette expert, Carol Smith. So, Carol, you've brought an array of things using the yes. monogram, and you can use it on anything from a wedding cake to necklaces. But how do you know which way to use the monogram? Because sometimes you use first and last initials. Sometimes, how do you know? Well, let's get it correct. Okay. Let's learn because you can Google it and get all kinds of answers. Yes. So the best way to do it is do the woman's name first. Okay. If you're going to do a married one, you do the woman's name first. Mm -hmm. Her married middle initial, well, like Smith is the last name, right. people goes in the middle, and then the husband's initial goes last. Okay. If she is unmarried and you want to give it to a young lady under 18 or who's not married, you use her first name, then her last name is in the middle. Okay. And then her middle name, or if she's a double name, you use that on the very end. Oh, goodness. Yes, and then if like a lot of couples want to do at their wedding, they want to do a monogram singular like the S on the pink cake, mm -hmm. they can just use S for Smith. But maybe they want to use all three. So on this cake picks, we've used her first name is Grace, his is William, and S is in the middle for Smith. So you can kind of incorporate it that way. But do remember, if you're going to do it on your cakes or anywhere, you're not married until after the ceremony. So this really needs to be reserved for the reservation. Don't put it on your wedding invitations. Don't put it on any other things until you get to the wedding until reception. Until after. That's when you're officially married by the officiant. Okay. So remember that, but single letters are kind of coming back. You can do single letters on your jewelry. You can do it on your walls. Babies are getting them now on their yes. walls. I mean, we're naming the baby with the little M's or whatever their initial is. It's and just, it's so adorable. It and, is. And you're even seeing that coming back on stationery now, exactly. too. Exactly. We have a sample on the table that you can do. You can do your first name or you can do your last name, but it must be indicative of you only. If you're going to do the Smiths, it can be from you and your husband. But if it's just going to be you alone, then put your first name, if you, you know, your first initial, if you like. And is this something that we're going to see more and more of, you think, as the years go on? It's a resurgence. It's come back. In the 80s, we did a lot of engraving. So right. Even if you have the engraving items, bring them back out of your jewelry box, start wearing them again. The polish them up. <laughs> that's right. The silver <laughs> needs the polishing. Right. But it's just made a resurgence. And it's a great way, if you start it off as the theme for your wedding, you can carry it into your new home together. If you want to give it as a graduation gift, it's a great graduation gift. And start thinking of those things now because it's January. And men do monogramming too, like on their shirts. Yes. You know, that's kind of, I've got a little samples on their shirts. On sleeves. their cuffs. Exactly. Or right up on the top where it comes out from the jacket. They even can do it even on the pocket a little bit. Okay. But again, use the naming right. First initial on the left, middle name on the right. And the last name in the middle. Okay, and Carol, how can folks get in touch with you if they've got any questions, if we went a little <laughs> too fast for them? <laughs> Platinum School of Protocol. Mm -hmm. uh, the number is 409-656-6889. All right, thanks, Carol. We Thank look you. forward to visiting with you every yes. month this year.